Why do you get to take him? No kidding. What's up with that? Yep. <laughs> I call that one the Thundercracker. Go back. Move it, lovebirds. But I'm carrying precious cargo. You should be the one to move it. Are you saying I'm not precious? Because, oh, yes, I am. Um, Blainly, would you like to calm down? Maybe we can find you some more cake. Oh, zip it. Let's talk more walk. Cody, do you think Blainly is a nasty, nasty person? Uh, no, not the face. Now you've upset him. Back up! Ow, my hair extensions! Ow! Good? Think the audience will like me for that? Oh. Consider joining forces with me. You won't regret it. This promise is not legally binding. Offer may be withdrawn at any time. Have you considered helping out a contestant? I never mess with the game, girly. Oh, right. You got busted helping DJ last season. Shame, really, because I have connections in the TV world. And I've always thought you'd be great on your own show. Chris is just holding you back. Shaw, it is so mine! I don't see a vanity plate on it, girlfriend. I would like to send a shout out to my personal trainer, Bunny, for making me do all those sprints. You rule! Sorry for calling you a waste of skin. You know that was just the adrenaline talking. Stop breathing down my neck! Or get a mint already! Hi! Also, big ups to my hand to hand combat instructor, Butchie. You are not a roid monkey. No matter what I said. You did not just do that. I'm good, right? Okay, come and get me, Alliance buddy. Oops. <laughs> what I mean is, if any of you would still like to be in an alliance with me, feel free to pull. I'm a true size zero, FYI. Oh, they don't really look like your style. What are you laughing at? You're not going anywhere fast. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. Diva. Thank you. Weren't you, sweetie? I had the greatest tour ever. The little villages, the rice paddies. I even did a little shopping. But who pulled you? Oh, a good reporter never reveals her sources. <sighs> if she's a size zero, I'm the emperor of China. Mmm, smells delicious, chef. Local delicacy. <laughs> Wow, Chef, five stars, mmm. Seriously? You're enjoying this? Done. Oops, uh, my hair tie fell. Mm. Done! Starfish on a skewer. Local delicacy. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such hair tie. And she don't get the squirts. Man, man, she, we'd rather eat our shirts. Wait, stop! Why does Blaney's food look so much better? It's exactly the same. Listen, man. Someone is giving Blaney actual food instead of gross osity. It is a lie. So not true. Get over it. Mm, I'm so ashamed. Listen, we gotta wrap this up. So, man, oh. man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in a tiebreaker situation. The producer's breathing down my neck, and I'm getting a lot of flack on this budget stuff. So, I was thinking, why don't you both take off? What? How is getting rid of me going to save money? Wait on the plane, food budget, I don't know. You're just both really annoying me. Prepare to hear from my lawyers. And Duncan, prepare for a personal defamation lawsuit while I'm at it. Bye-bye. Not so fast. I have some things to say first. Ezekiel, he's still hiding in the hole. Sierra, Cody has voted for you every single time. Get a clue. Heather and Alejandro, just give it up and make out already. Can you get her out of here? I don't know. This part's kind of fun. Oh, you want to hear something really fun? They wanted me to host the show. You only got the job because I said no and 